In today's world of high-speed connection, text messaging, and social networking, we often find ourselves searching for information. There are millions of blogs on the internet, news, sports, politics, and tech, but I bring it all together for you and present it in a relentlessly unconventional fashion. My name is Zinni Abraham, and this is The Blog Report. It's time now for news. Hi everyone. My friend Oakland Tribune columnist Peggy Stinnett died last week. Her funeral is Tuesday morning at Our Lady of the Lord's Catholic Church on 2809 Lakeshore in Oakland, California. For those of you watching this who aren't familiar with Peggy, she was a treasure. But I have to share that this is the fifth funeral that I have had to attend this year. Well, four of them I did attend. One of them, unfortunately, I, I missed. Uh, but that was because I was out of town with my mother. But, um, you know, this is hard. It's really hard. It's basically a funeral a month. Although they've been even closer than that. At any rate, uh, Peggy, I met in 1993 at the Lakeside Park Garden Center, 666 Bellevue, I kid you not, that's the address, in the park next to Lake Merritt. The Oakland City Council held its meetings there at that time because the Oakland City Hall was damaged after the Loma Prieta earthquake. But because of its small setting, it really brought all of us together, and I thought made for a lot of fun and a lot of interesting policy differences. But at the center was Peggy, and she held court in the newspaper. She was loved and respected by all, but her passion was for education. She was a former school teacher, and so whenever the Oakland School Board screwed up on something, which was often, she was right there, right at the computer, ready to pounce, and ready to suggest a quick and swift action. Peggy was the kind of person you just love to have lunch with who was delightful. Yeah, she was kind of a gossip hound, but then, yeah, okay, so am I sometimes, big deal. Uh, and she loved to trade information. She loved to talk. She was really good at it. But the one thing I remember about Peggy is that she took time to tell me what it took to be a good columnist. And she said, Zenny, a great columnist is not great unless they're angry about something. You've got to have a passion for what you're doing. And, of course, I'm never lacking for passion. But it's really hard to lose Peggy. It's hard to see another part of Oakland's culture go to heaven. <laughs>